It's just, I feel like it has a lot of problems. Hello! Hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, I need to do the thing and click the thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're playing more Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. Hopefully finishing it up today. That's the plan, at least, is to finish it up. I mean, we are 72% of the way through the game. Words are already hard. Um, <laughs> and we, we've, like, streamed it twice so far. This is the third one. So if we're doing an average of, like, 36% per stream, then I think we'll be able to finish it up. I was just going to say, I think we, we collected this thingy, the umbrella, which opens up a couple of different areas for us now that we can explore. So that's good. It gives me some sense of direction on, on where we should or could be going. I don't remember, like, every little use of it, but I know there was at least a couple of them. Right, because there was like, what was it? Was it this one going down which way? Was that it? No, maybe not. I know there was definitely one here somewhere, though. It might have been going down which way. We'll try that, we'll see if it looks right. If not, then we'll go to a different location. We'll just keep teleporting around until we figure out where the heck we're going because I don't remember, but it should be, you know, more or less around here. Wait, did we already do this one? Wait a second. I'm starting to feel like... I'm starting to feel like we already did this one, actually. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a second. So, wait. Oh, I remember what happened. Yeah, we started going down this path, and then we ran out of time last time. That's what happened. So, we can actually just teleport forward. Got it. I got there. <laughs> it takes me a second sometimes to figure out what the hell's going on, but but we're good. We're there. Um, okay, we came from this direction, so this is the direction we're wanting to go. And I vaguely remember now, if we actually like are able to make all these jumps without hitting any of these stupid flying fish, it looks like. Whippy! We might be able to get right on top of the ship, which I don't know if that's, like, a shortcut or the intended route or what. I have no idea, but there is definitely some sort of level opening unlock thing up there. Assuming we have enough Scooby Snacks to open it, that is. But for some reason, every time we tried last time, we failed horribly. It seems to be working all right this time, though, so I don't know, man. It's fine. Now, where's the door? Okay, we actually almost overshot it. And we do have enough. Let's go. Now, is this actually where we're wanting to go, though? Like, right away? I have no idea, but I don't, I don't want to redo all of those jumps on the... the the swingy thingies and whatnot. So we're just gonna go in it and hope this is more or less the right direction. Should we save? I mean, it's probably fine. I don't, we literally just started. I don't think we need to hop in the save menu already. I'm hoping the saving works okay. Whenever I launched the game today, it told me that I didn't have enough space on the memory card to save the game, which, you know, fair. My memory card, wait, why'd it go up? Did it go up because I turned it around? That's new. Okay. Interesting. It, oh, why are you spitting twice? That wasn't the deal. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm used to that sort of thing happening with the like the memory card thing, you know, because my memory card tends to get get full with as many different PS2 games as we play. Um, but I'm not used to it popping up on games where we already have a save file. So that's why I'm a bit confused, but I think it'll be okay. I'm assuming we just won't be able to make like a new file. Either that or the game just always checks if there's enough regardless of whether you already have a save or not. That's also entirely possible. And if that's the case, then whatever, we can just ignore it because we already have a save game anyways. Oh. Excuse me. I feel like we were supposed to grab that thing whenever we jumped up there. Try that again. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Why are we not? It seems like it's so perfectly set up for us to be grabbing that, doesn't it? Is it? Do I need to like hold right? That's so weird. Uh oh. I mean, we can continue to jump higher and higher, but. Oh. By like double jumping while we're in the air. Does it not look like we should be able to grab that though? Come on, come on, Scoob. Nope. Are we like too far over? What if we like jump right on the edge? Well, that didn't work. Yeah, we must be hitting some sort of geometry there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I think it's probably fine. <laughs> Oh, maybe we're meant to be like jumping from the back part of the game. Maybe we're. Nope, that didn't do it. I'm so confused on why we're not grabbing the thingy up there. It looks like we're supposed to. I don't know, whatever. Kappa Cow, what's up, man? Hello. Hello and welcome. Ooh. Nothing else we can probably grab a couple of these Scooby snacks. I'm waiting for us to just get like launched off entirely though. Whatever, I give up on it. It's fine. <laughs> we don't we don't need to grab it anyways. It was just a couple of Scooby snacks. Not the end of the world if we don't collect every bit. I don't believe any of this stuff's gonna be breakable. What happens if we ground pound that? Absolutely nothing. Perfect. Are you gonna go up? Yes. Uh not very far though. We probably didn't need you to go up to grab this this part seems very um interesting <laughs> okay so no these ones are too high for us to just bounce onto so we do have to use the platform to get raised up a little bit and then i guess like are we meant to jump i'm just curious how we're meant to actually collect all this junk oh we missed the thingy I'll try it one more time, and then after that, I don't really care. <laughs> we probably oh, we probably don't need all of the Scooby snacks anyways. Maybe I should have did it from like the other side. Yeah, see, like it feels like it should jump you clear across, but it just doesn't. It's weird. Anyways, whatever. We got most of the snacks. That should be enough. More conveyor belts. They're turned off, though, thankfully. Makes them a lot easier to walk across. I'm assuming these ones just keep flipping. They never raise up. Oh, man. It... Okay. <laughs> uh, um, is it... Is it possible to get up on the next one? It must be. Hold on. Uh, maybe not, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can jump high enough. Given the way they, they flip. Is it gonna... Okay, well, it's gonna flip the other way this time. So that was our chance to get up on that one. So we want to wait for the next flip. Okay. There's a ground pound button up here. What do you do for us? Oh, oh, and they're probably gonna turn on now, aren't they? Trash. Well, presumably that'll let us get up here more easily though, because we can ride the conveyor belts up, so it might not actually be that bad of a thing. Yeah, and at least they're not the like super fast conveyor belts like that cannery or whatever that level was that we were on. This isn't actually all that bad comparatively. Oh, there's another key. I kind of forgot we were collecting keys, but it looks like we got all four, so. So we should be good whenever we eventually get to the locked door, which was maybe that one there. Can we do anything with this? No. Excuse me, cookie. Thank you. Can't interact with these doors at all. This one looks like we can though, right? Yeah. Can we get up here? We can. Might as well kill you guys and get the all the Scooby snacks. That last door that we opened, I think required 750. So presumably the next door will be like 800 if there is any more doors for us to open still. 
Here's my real question. How do we get these? Hmm, no. Almost. Nope. Is it possible? I don't know, man. I feel like we touched that <laughs> and then the game just said no. Okay, yeah. It's like we need to touch it with the middle of our body or something. The hitbox seems uh, a little peculiar sometimes. We get this last one. I feel like we're doing this wrong, but whatever. We got it, so. Can't be that wrong if we got everything. I wonder how many bosses there are in the game. Because, like, I'm assuming there's one for each character. Because, like, we already did Velma. We already did Daphne. Down, Apparently, we're doing Freddy now. Which I didn't expect to be doing so early. Thanks, um, And Shaggy, we've been running into the whole time. So maybe that's it. Nate, hello, sir. Welcome. We can find some clues that will lead us right to him. And to the professor. <laughs> hey. I've had a belly full of your meddling. It's high past time I did away with you once and for all. I think you'll remember this old adversary of yours. He certainly remembers you. Dun dun dun. <laughs> What's happening? It's the roast of Redbeard. Ah, shiver me timber. The roast of Redbeard. <laughs> now I want to roast. Actually, I'm pretty full. I ate a pot pie for lunch today. And has a score to settle with I'm you. stuffed. <laughs> I don't know if it's just we didn't cook them long enough, or if they've changed something in the past like 10 years since i've had one i'm exaggerating a little bit but they weren't as good as they used to be i feel like they were still it was still good don't get me wrong i'm uh but i'm gonna buy another one and then like purposefully overcook it to see if that's the thing because i i do remember like that i always overcooked mine a little bit wait how do we it looks like we need to drop that thing on him maybe Did we just like... That doesn't do it. There's a Marie Calliander's uh, beef pot pie. I don't even know how we go about damaging this dude. What about, does ground pound work since the other one didn't? No. Because we can't like interact with the ghost in any way, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, the ghost is invulnerable. And we can't touch Redbeard. Oh wait, we can't even like headbutt Redbeard? No, we take damage if we touch him at all. Huh. Interesting, okay. How do we, I'm gonna turn down the music volume a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit loud. That's a, yeah, okay. I mean like ground pound these hooks or anything? No. It seems like we should be able to do something. Cause like there's that heavy chest right above him. So it feels like, you know, there's something to do with that. Noodle, hello, love. But we don't have... Bro. We need to, like... Make him dizzy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I literally don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. There's no exit though, so we can't like leave. 
I don't think we're missing like an ability or anything, right? Watch, we need the, the soap, the bubbles to be able to do something here or something. Generally, when I'm playing through a game, I try not to look too much stuff up. But we might have to look this up again. Which, sadly, isn't the first time I would have had to look something up for this game. Yeah, I'm completely lost, man. I have no idea what we're doing here. We have to, like... No. Hmm. I was thinking maybe, like, get him in the back, but no, it seems like as soon as we get close enough to him, he just automatically... hits us. Can we, like, grab one of these swords or something and cut the ropes? I mean, it's probably something so dumb is the worst part, like, so simple that I'm missing, but I have no idea what it is. There's, like... I'm even trying to listen to the song for a hint, but, like, <laughs> it's not... It's not helping, though. Something to do with the barrel? No, the barrel doesn't seem to do anything. How the heck did we fight this dude? I don't think I'm missing anything. What happens if we just hide in our costume here? Nope. Why is Twitch popping up telling me something? Yeah, no, I... I know how ad schedules work. I don't want one. Thanks. <laughs> I'd rather not run ads. Many thanks, though. Nothing we can head bash around here or anything? really does look like we should be able to do something with the ropes, right? Um... Oh! We can interact with the ghost, okay. So wait, now that he doesn't have his thingy, can we hit him? No. What about now? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um. All right. Okay. Well, at least now we know one step of it, presumably. Fighting the ghosty boy. I guess maybe he was just too high up in the air every other time that I tried to hit him. Okay. And then... He throws the sword, but we can't interact with him because of that weird... flame thing that pops up? Oh! Maybe we get him to cut the ropes when he throws the sword. Yeah, there we go, okay. I see. We Gucci, I know what's going on now. That makes a lot of sense. So it was more or less what I thought with us like, ooh, screwing with the ropes, it's just the whole, we can actually kill the ghost and I didn't think we could, but. Having two of them pop up like that's kind of rude. Oh no! Okay. So we need to like be over here more or less whenever it happens. 
I thought maybe the sword would like follow us around, but no, it's just wherever we kill the dudes at, basically. We have like a very brief second to get into a spot after that. Bro, why can I not? <laughs> why can I not hit them? There we go. That should be two down. Does that mean we're gonna have three waves of ghosts now? I just hope there's not three ghosts we have to kill now. Two of them's annoying enough. Ah, wait, what? <laughs> I thought the iframes would last a little longer than that. Oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna freaking lose. Oh, garbage. Oh good, and there are three of them now. Excellent. I was headbutting. How'd he hit me? I guess we're only invulnerable from the front, or maybe, maybe like as soon as the headbutt ended, our invulnerability ended, so then we took a hit from the next one. Kind of annoying, but I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, I feel like these ones are gonna be harder. These ropes in the front because I can't see anything whenever those ones are happening. So I'm going to get the front two first, actually. And then focus on these back two second. Yeah, see, like, as soon as I hit the one... Are we far enough over to... No, man. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, no. As soon as I hit the one, the other one instantly hit me. So I think that's just kind of... There's probably a decent way to do... How did you hit me? I was safe over here last time. Excuse me, sir. Do they, like, move locations or something? I really did think I was safe there. That's why I just stood there, like... Yeah, there's two down. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so bad. Just ran straight into that. Is it because, like, was I facing sideways last time? Maybe that's it. Maybe my hitbox, like, was extended a little bit because of the direction I was facing. I wish they would spread out a little bit more because I'm gonna take damage. Yeah, I don't think there's. Wait. We can't ground pound them, right? Did we try that already? No, apparently we didn't, because it did work. I mean, we still ended up taking an extra hit. Oh, fuck, I forgot how to... I'm gonna die. Bruh, and we still have to do one more round of this. I don't think it's gonna end too well for us. Oh, God. So this should be safe, hopefully. No, what? Okay. So sometimes it's safe, sometimes it's not. That's That must be all there is to it. Either that or, like, it's a much more precise kind of placement than I would think. It's fine, though. We know what we're doing. More or less. It's just a matter of getting good at this point. Oh, I want to be up here, actually. No, no. No, 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 no. Don't get hit already. Okay. Eat the sandwich, get the health. There's one down. Try not to run into the fire again. So where's a safe spot to stand for this sideways one, then? I mean, I just got lucky there, let's be real. The song makes the boss harder. <laughs> Is that... Do you just not like the song? Or, like... <laughs> why does it make it harder? Because it's such a bop? <laughs> Oh, man, I almost walked right into that again. Right. This is... 
kind of a safe zone around here somewhere nope okay I think I just have to accept I'm gonna keep getting hit by that one now this should be safe for the next two ghosts well kind of is it possible to get you guys like split up a little bit not really huh I mean, thankfully, they pretty much always drop sandwiches, so as long as we don't take extra hits, we should be fine. Okay, definitely safe for the first one here. And then... Well, it's safe that time, at least. Uh, safe from this one. And then the next one, it's safe for the first, like, half. And then whenever they start coming out like that, there we go. Okay, so as long as we don't royally screw this one up, we should we should be good. Just lead you around and then accept the hits. Oh no, what? There we go. We good. And that should be the boss, right? That <laughs> there was like no animation there. It just <laughs> that just instantly fell, and then he was gone. Like it just. <laughs> I was expecting like some sort of cartoonic moment, you know, wherever it just falls and bashes him on the head or something, but nothing. Just he disappears. The chest is on the ground. We caught the ghost of Redbeard on that freighter years ago. I wonder what he's doing here. Watch out, guys! The creeper's chasing me! Thelma, wait a second! There's something on your glasses! <laughs> the creeper times two! Now this is a clue! Mm. And clues like this just don't fall into your lap by accident! That's shaggy. <laughs> I feel like that's shaggy. Yep. <laughs> We should go find Daphne and Holly and put all our clues together. And find that mastermind. Find a secret lab. A secret lab? Who told you about a secret lab, Scooby? Ronnie did, before she wish appeared with Raphne. Come on, you two. You're coming with us. <laughs> get, get there, Scoop. Fred wants us to stop our smorgasbord. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys. If you want to stay in this creepy cove all alone. Ah, uh, Reddy and I got rid of the ghosts. So, lots of goodies and no ghosts? Sounds better than a secret lab, huh, Scoop? Yep, a roast-free room. All right, then. We'll catch up with you later. You big chickens. Mm -hmm. Big chickens. chickens. What's this? Professor Graham's Tricky Sticky Gum Doohickey. What do you say, Scoob? Want to give it a try? Okay. Rhyme game. It is this another... Here, this stuff will stick creeps in place so you can bounce off their heads. Oh. The Fancy. Yeah, so like it's the another, at, like, usable invention, Ro then? Oh, Rose Driver. Like, let's get out of here, Scoob! <laughs> oh, okay. So with that down, I'm assuming that's everything now. We just find the final boss and that's the game. Wait, what? Bro, come on. I already have a save. Just let me overwrite it. It really won't let me save. <laughs> oh my lord. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. I do usually like to keep my my finished game saves like backed up, but I guess it doesn't really matter in this case. It'll be fine either way. I mean, I could swap my memory card for memory card 2 or whatever, but meh. This cannon is a one-way shot to the front of Mystic Manor. Was there anything that we should be like collecting or looking for here? No. Okay, well, through the cannon then?
Mystery Machine Part 1. Wait, were there multiple parts in the Mystery Machine? Or maybe it just always says part whatever. Whenever you load up one of these levels. That is the weirdest thing, though, that it won't let us overwrite our save game. I mean, I could save a memory card slot, too. But memory card slot 2 is not an official memory card. I guess I will, just in case, you know, something does happen. But it might take an extra moment for it to save here. It's one of those, like, aftermarket 128 megabyte ones or whatever the heck size it is. It doesn't always work so well. Speaking of aftermarket memory cards and things, though, the fancy little memory card that I have for the PlayStation 1, the memory card pro that I've mentioned a couple of times, uh, they made one for the PS2, and somehow I didn't hear about it. Came out a couple of months ago, I believe. Anyways, I uh, ordered it now, of course. <laughs> Without a modified PS2, the only real like feature of it is that it's an basically unlimited amount of memory cards. Um, just the one card is, and then you also have a web interface for like backing up and your saves and uh, switching memory cards and things like that. With a uh, soft modded PS2, you can also have it automatically change memory cards to whatever game you're playing, or create a new memory card if it's a game you haven't played before or whatever, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using that feature very much though, because while you can also use the memory card to boot into something like Free McBoot or whatever, um, you would have to launch through OPL, Open PS2 Launcher, to do like the the automatic memory card switching and all that. And uh, I don't remember if OPL has an option to. Sorry, I was just looking at the different things here. So we need to get to the super secret lab. Uh, I don't remember if OPL has an option to launch like an actual just original disc or if it's only. Um, like over network or flash drive or hard drive or whatever. And I play off of actual discs, so yeah. So wait, so we haven't been this way yet then, it seems? Because none of these are lit up. But the super secret lab's over here. I would think the lab is the next place we need to get to. Well, either way, it looks like this is where we need to warp to. And then we can figure out from here which direction we're able to go. There might be another invention that we need to unlock before we can really continue on, continue on. Wait, you, oh, you have a beam. I don't think you were here before, right? The uh, I forget what you're called, but something Martian. Wait, do you just keep appearing? I remember the ghosts being down here. Ow. But I don't remember the the Martian men, whatever the hell they're called. How do we use the bubble gum? Oh, that's what that stuff is up there. It's bubble gum. Okay, how do we... Oh. Can we bounce off your heads now, even like the ghosts? That's cool. Okay, so presumably we need to bounce off these Martians' heads. Yeah! Need three keys to extinguish these flames. Wait. What? <laughs> okay, I didn't... I didn't expect it to... Send everything into the... Into the ground. Oh, there was a vent right there, too. Wait, how does sending that into the lava help me? Oh. I am very much confused. What's over here? Okay. Seem to go to swing on these. Are they like secretly levers or something? Oh, oh, they're raising things up. Do they stay up though once they're once they're up, or do I need to swing on like one at a time? What happens if we go to this last one over here? Yeah, they all seem to stay up. Right. 
Oh. I'm gonna end up dying. Okay, we stopped the flames. Now the real question is, can we get back over here without dying? I think we're okay. Shoot him. Oh, that's not how you shoot. Oh no. Did we at least retain the keys or do we have to? Yeah, okay. It looks like we retain the keys anyway, so it's fine. Oh, that vent doesn't turn on until we hit the button. That makes sense. Now we can like get up and down easily if we needed to. Okay, now where does this take us though? Gus about underground. I don't think this is towards the secret lab, so maybe there's another secret invention that we need to find before we can get there. God. Oh. <laughs> Help me out, pal. I'm stuck in this barrel. Scooby-Doo, where are you? I can't see a thing in this barrel. Give me a push, pal. Then press Raggy. the circle button and I'll follow you. Raggy. Well, I already gave you a push. Raggy. So wait, where are we trying to get him to? Oh, maybe maybe here? Raggy. Onto the button? Wait, you're not you're not on the button, my guy. Can I just like push you onto the button? Raggy. Oh, there we go. He just takes our place, but we stand on it. Good work, Scoob. You go through the gate, and I'll catch up with you later. What gate? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get hit. Whatever. I don't even know. Was there a gate behind, like, this door back here that I missed or something? I don't like this. Can I... Can I, like, bubblegum the... <laughs> no. The axes. This one seems even faster. Oh, it was definitely faster. Look how much slower this one is. You want to drop a, a food for me by any chance? No, you'll drop bubblegum, though. Ruby snacks. Need a key to open this gate, okay. That's like later. I think we may have found that gate before. Ooh. And just weren't able to like do anything with it because it's a one way gate, I think. It'd be really nice if there was like a switch to disable these things or something. Oh god. Or if we could just flip the camera around to see what we're walking into. So we don't end up just walking straight into a hole and dying. Yeah. I had to, I had to concentrate there for a second. Alright, so this is this is more or less a dead end for us then. So presumably the gate was just up there in front of the door. Weird that this vent doesn't seem to actually do anything. What did we get, like, pushed away by? It's like we hit a really weird piece of geometry there or something. Yeah, whatever. Through the door! Who's Yella in the cellar? That sounds familiar. I think we did like part one and two last week or something. Mm. I don't like these gates. These gates always seem to be bad. Wait, we're here? How did we get here from here? But without going through... This map makes no sense. Is this gate gonna open or... No. Wait, what gate opened then? <laughs> I'm so confused. What? We got Shaggy on the button. He apparently opened a gate.
And you would think it would just be sending... Oh. There's a snack up there we could get. Shaggy's gone now. Oh, there's a door here. No, that's probably the door we came through, though. Did something glitch? I'm so confused. Ruby snacks. I feel like something broke somewhere, man. Yeah, okay, this is this room. Ooh, sandwiches. Anything, game. Okay, because, yeah, we hit the button. There's only two ways out of this room. This one says we need a key. And this one just does nothing. This one appears to just be like a secret passage to another area. Just a way to get another way to get around. Because of how it teleports us halfway across the the map. Never left this channel since last stream. I figured as much, because as soon as I loaded up the, the stream dashboard, you were in the, the list, so I, was, <laughs> so I was like, I bet you he just never fucking left, dude. Wait, have you been asleep all this time, or did you, like, wake up and then just not do anything afterwards? Just leave it up where it was or whatever. That's how you know you have a persona problem, man. Whenever, like, you fall asleep at your desk. Woke up late and had to get your kids. You had, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, that's fine, man. I don't care if you lurk. <laughs> Whether you're actually here or not. A lurker's a lurker, you know? <laughs> it's, it's all good. Oh, we can go this way. Of course. I'm stupid. The way that dude came from. So maybe... Maybe this button will do something for us? I just want to collect the snacks. Why can I not collect the snacks, bro? Alright, you know what? Hit the button first. Wait, did that button do anything? I did hit it, right? Yeah, well, let me hit it again. So maybe... Oh. Maybe when it said it needed a key... Maybe what it really meant was you have to hit the button first? No, no, it does mean we need a key. Okay, um... Maybe hitting that switch? Oh, oh god. Opened something for us? Oh, well that's cool. Okay, well it definitely did some stuff. It stopped all these uh oh never mind it didn't stop all of them it stopped one of them does that mean i can get on top of them no well, maybe that'll make something else change back here that's the only other thing i can think of it didn't look like any of those other doors on the side were walkable like you could be walked into that is Feels almost like this should be something we can interact with, but no. Okay, is this door open now, maybe? If not, then we can just start heading for the secret laboratory and try to go the other direction and see if there's any, like, thing we can do there, but... No. That makes no sense. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are we stuck again? Peggy. All right, well, back this way we go then. All right, so we weren't able to do anything else in here other than what we've already done. We collect some more bubblegum? Yeah. Refill our stores. It's a warp day, right? Now, the secret lab should be 
vaguely around here as well. Oh, wait. Wait, is this new? I don't think this is new. Oh, I'm stuck. This is, this is fine. Everything's fine. Right. Oh my god, whatever. Character. Yeah, no, this definitely isn't new. I remember how annoying getting past these things with all the enemies were. Especially from this angle. Now, are we moving away from the secret lab, though? No, okay. The secret lab entrance would be here somewhere. Oh, I remember. We needed, like, a way to jump higher from here to be able to get up there. But we still don't have that. Yeah, this is the way to the secret lab. But we have no way to jump up there yet. Unless there's some, like, poor geometry that we can just cheese our way up there with, then we're not getting up there just yet. There must be an... Oh. There must be another place we can go somewhere to unlock another invention. Some sort of, like, super jumper. Still confused as to what the hell the soap was for, though. We never seemed to unlock the soap, but it definitely made mention of it before. Shark oils. We got all these keys. I don't remember what was over there. Oh, is this just death? This is just death. No, this way. Yeah, screw you guys. There was this section down here. I don't remember what was down here, but we did come here before. Did this gate always open when we came down here? They call these in the hallways. It's probably just a dead end. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I remember where we are. Um... This is still closed. See, this looks like that gate. No? And I guess it wouldn't be because the Scooby Snacks are on the wrong side. So that's just another gate that we haven't yet figured out how to open. And then... There's that section with all the rocks, but I don't think that does anything for us. Run. I could freeze you and jump off you, but I don't see anything above you that would be useful. Run. This presumably doesn't take us anywhere handy either. I think we just need to find a warp point then. And... Find a warp point and see if there's anywhere else that we haven't been to yet on the map. So now that we have the umbrella, like there, there very well could be more locations that have been opened up for us. I think there's one in here, right? If not, then the room after this for sure. There's definitely one around here somewhere. Oh god, yeah, we gotta go through these again though. Right! It's a headless vector! 
At least the devs were nice enough to give us food, like, right next to that dude. I don't care. Take the hits. I just want the warp point. Man, that felt so good whenever we figured out, like, how to get through this section and everything. I thought for sure we were on to something, but... Okay, we've been everywhere here on the map. We've been everywhere here except for the super secret lab and the basement section. Have we... Warp gate not activated. Maybe we can get there from here? Wait, how have we been here but not here? So maybe we need to go the other way around. Like do clamor in the manor and come over? We can check that out. That might be the answer. Oh god, I wish I remembered this though. It's Geronimo. Hi Geronimo. You're dead. Can't go like towards the wall, right? No. Oh. Right. Yeah, I vaguely remember this section. This was like a very early section. Is there anything here for us to do, though? Like anything else for us to do that we hadn't already done? I don't think so. Apparently there's some sort of connection over to there. There could be like a ground pound point that I'm missing. Since we just unlocked the umbrella, I'm, I'm looking specifically for that. That seems more likely, but... I think we searched this section last time too, though, and didn't find anything of real use around here. Oh wait, that just turned on the sprinklers. This just takes us to where the warp point is, I believe. Yeah. It's Geronimo. Did he open a door for us? No. Thought maybe he opened one of the doors so we could get out more easily without going all the way around, but no luck. Is like somewhere we can jump up? Wait. I just thought of something. We might actually be able to... I don't know how this connects to the other area. Unless, like, one of these bookcases moves and I don't know how to open it. Um, but, no, since we have the, the bubblegum and can jump, like, extra high, maybe if we lure one of the creepers into... Up to Jack just redeemed hydrate. Yeah, 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 I got you, my guy. Maybe if we lure one of the creepers into that hallway where we need to jump extra high, maybe we can jump off their head and get into the secret passage. I don't know if they will go into there or not, though. It's a warp day, right? But as of now, it's my best, uh, it's my best guess on what we can do. That only means we have to go through this hell of an area again. Right! It's a headless specter! Just, oh my god. <laughs> I should have just ground pounded him. The, the whole thing with the, the, the head butting them just does not work half the time. You just don't have the fine motor control, <laughs> Scooby. Okay, Krooby call Crawley's in the hallways. I think this is the section we need to be in. So can we... Yeah, you. Will you come back to here? I guess it's a zombie, not a creeper. Come over here farther. Oh, damn you. 
Ah, we're gonna die. Shoot. I don't think it, I don't think it lets us jump high enough. Sadly, it was a decent idea, but I don't think it's gonna work. Wait, did you not like see me? Come here. No. Although he gives us bubble gum almost like it is the right thing. But if we needed him for this to work, I feel like it would probably... Oh, uh, respawn, you know? Come here. Come here. Ow. Keep coming. Come this way. Come on. Oh, damn you. Of course he would start coming as soon as I started to go through. Ah, oh, no, you dick. Anyways, we found before that, like, ground pounding gives you a little bit of extra height. I'm pretty positive it would be cheese if it does work, but I can't just not try. Oh, we did, like, hit something. I wonder... Oh, nope, we're dead. We might be able to cheese our way up to there. I'm only going to try one more time, though, because obviously this isn't intended. Right? Because this is... <laughs> oh. Um, well, at least it's just a stun. You can wake up. Nope. Get off him? Damn you. Okay, yeah. I'm going to give up on that. Uh, it was a decent idea, I feel like, though, you know? Because the bubblegum does let us jump higher, at least presumably, lets us jump higher than... ...without it. Like, just our double jump alone. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my sinuses are acting up today. If only I could get the zombie, like, up here onto this box <laughs> and then from there we might be able to yeah honestly i think this box gives us roughly the same amount of extra height as jumping off of one of the zombies heads does with the bubble gum All right, well. Go ahead and kill me, that's fine. Gotta go back through this stupid ass hallway again. Um. So we can't seem, if we open up the map, we can't seem to get here from here. Like I was hoping. There is apparently some sort of connection there but I have no idea what it is or how it works when we came to here there was a locked door or a gate that we weren't able to get through the playground is just the playground there's nothing there edge maze we fully explored I'm missing something. Very clearly missing something. Right. Right. I'm not sure what, but there's something around here that's probably meant to be obvious. And it's just going right over my head. I feel like it's most likely to be over here somewhere. Oh, why did I hit that? No. Okay, good. It didn't actually trigger. I feel like it would be in here. Because we did the shaggy puzzle. We got him to stand on the thing. He said a gate opened. But I'm not seeing anywhere to go.
You can't bust through this. You know, it looks like it should be bustable. I mean, we've reloaded the section a couple of times. But maybe something happened with one of these gates now? Like, we hit two different switches here, and none of them seem to have really done anything. The one just lowered a random platform, but didn't help us in any other way. And the other one, we have no idea what it did. Like, this gate here, this gate feels wrong, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> The other one needs a key. So where's this key? Right. Once you're like glued to the ground, can I kill you then? No, I still just go straight through you. Rory. Oh. Rory. Okay, well the gum's not working. No keys up there, right? No. Go through this one or that one. Nothing there or over there. Creeper! It's the creeper! I mean, we could. No, I was gonna say we could maybe use the creeper to jump up there, but. No, because of the, the height of the roof, that's just not possible. No other, like, holes in the wall that I'm missing, right? No. Okay. Oh, well. Kind of ran right into that. Right. Weird how sometimes the music just kind of dies. And this fast one. Fall in the hole, I think. So, nope. There's a skeleton there. We can't go through that one. This one looks almost like it would be possible to get up on, but... Is it, like... The fact that that sandwich, like, disappears the way it does, is that a hint that maybe we can go down into this hole here? Or is that just death? No, that's just death. I mean, that's what I expected, but that sandwich, like, every time we get close to that, seems to just kind of... I don't know, blow up. <laughs> Disappear in some way. I thought maybe it was trying to tell us something, but no, I don't think it is. If it is, it's over my head. Damn you. It's just glowing because of the torch on the wall. Let's watch this sandwich. What actually happens to you? I guess we do collect it. The sound must be from the creeper breaking through the wall there. I mean, this wall does... Oh, it's breakable! Boy! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well... That's right, it was something pretty obvious. I was just like, this wall looks a little different, but I don't think we can interact with it. And then as soon as I went to say that, man, we just smashed right through it. Like, it's freaking nothing. Grab this warp point. What's the hint? Four keys to open this door. That's a door? Do we need to kill the Martians? Wait, can we not? Are the Martians not killable? 
Okay, now they are. Let's just take a couple of hits to kill them. Wait, they keep respawning though, don't they? Random bearable? Wait, what? That random barrel was a switch? Bro! <laughs> <laughs> How? I would have. I got so lucky with that, man. I never would have guessed. I had no idea. I was just annoyed that I couldn't seem to break it. So I ground pounded it because I was like, oh, maybe I'm too far away for it to break or something. No, that was. That was the secret switch that allowed all this to work. Nice. Okay. Can we. Oh. Whippy! Weird that we can't seem to... <laughs> like, spin that around to grab all these, but whatever. Scooby! Guess this works, too. Scooby! <laughs> Ruby snacks. Wait, is that the game acknowledging its weird-ass geometry by putting that stuff right there on that little tiny ledge? Now, is this just a secret passage, or is this actually somewhere helpful? I feel like this is going to be just some sort of extra that we didn't need to go down, but it won't hurt to go down either. Okay. Game, please. No! Up. I really don't want to hit the zombie. Go away. Thank you. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Oh, how's Animal Crossing going, love? Is it everything you hoped and then some? Dumb playing for now? Is it like annoying you or something, or, or you just played too much? Okay, that opened that. Now you're just done for now. That's fair. You're sleepy. I get that, man. I'm always sleepy. Born sleepy and die sleepy. Wonder how we open that. Right. Get him. Wait, did you? Oh, <laughs> did you fight him? I'm guessing. Did he lose again? He's been losing a lot lately, poor little guy. Oh. Got a mustache? Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Both gender fluid. They can have a mustache, no mustache, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I wish he would stay dead. What the what the switch do? Did a time thing? Right. Need three more keys to open this door. Wait, there's keys? Where are the keys at? Do we need to like pull this and then hit this? Like, oh god, my god, do I suck. 
I want to hit this basically while that's still up to see if it does anything, but but I'm struggling. <sighs> Just didn't know mustache was a thing. You don't think you've got one before? Fair. I don't think I've seen one before either, actually. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yeah, so that's what we need to do. Wait, what? Is there only one shade that pulls all of them down? That's not annoying or anything. Nope. Too late. Okay. Can we kill this one? It's like, we don't need this one, right? So it might not respawn all the time. Go away. Oh no, I overshot it. No. Okay, well. Now we know that thing does respawn. Oh. Okay, so it's this one. No, why would you spawn right on it, you dick? My god, okay. There we go. So I'm assuming this will give us some sort of invention that lets us jump higher going down this path. I'm good, we got a ghosty boy. Is he about to get us? No. Looks like he's on a path. Hit him, please. We definitely need the food. I don't remember, like, literally... Well, I was gonna say literally anything could be a switch. But I guess there's an actual switch right there, so... That's probably the answer. Wait, is this a door? Oh, that's where we came in. Okay, 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 okay. Right. So many branching paths, man. I don't know where to go. Guess we'll check out down here. Oh, whatever. That wasn't secretly a switch? Are we sure that's not secretly a switch? Oh my god, dude. You guys suck. <laughs> Why are there so many of you around here? Give me this food, please. Ruby snacks. I ended up having to do like all of this in reverse because I'm so lost <laughs> with all of these paths going every which way. Well, that's that's a switch, but I don't currently have any way that I know of to hit those switches. Okay, so we must go here after. Go the other direction first, come back, and see if we can hit that thing. And what was that up in the corner? Was that that it wouldn't let us collect? I'm wondering if that was more of the, the soap thing. Robbie. There's still going to be a ghost up here, or was it down there? Oh, yep, it's still up here, whatever. Oh my god, so many. Oh, I didn't realize these were gonna hurt us. I thought it was just like regular water. Of course, it spawns us over here. What if we like creep as a black knight? No, it didn't work. So, there is still gonna be a ghost here somewhere. There it is. No, well, couldn't get out of the way in time. Whatever. It's fine.
this the locked door I'm guessing oh no that's just that's just a door okay, that's the locked door now what it say can we read this hint again because I kind of cleared it too quickly one way shortcut back to the secret passages be warned that you cannot return this way after dropping down okay ow Okay, what's over here? Absolutely nothing. I'm dead. Oh, I wonder if the four keys will still stay in our inventory at least. No. I feel like every barrel is something that we need to run into now and check. So if we check the map, the secret passages, that's just this junk here. I don't think that's going to help us get to the secret lab at all. Right. The keys stay? They did stay. That makes no sense to me. Whatever. Um. Okay, this is ice. That's important to know. Another shaggy moment. What are we doing with shaggy this time? Just saving his ass? Hey, food. Okay, there's a bunch of... I forget what they're called. Bunch of Martians, though. You guys respawn like all the other ones seem to. You don't want to, that's fine. <laughs> you guys definitely don't need to respawn. Would not be upset about that. Okay, so I'm over here now. Oh, there's a switch. Is there another switch? There is another switch. Wait, were there more switches? Did I miss them? Oh, okay. Presumably we just hit four switches and then go up there. And that block was just a way to do it more easily without... Oh, do we need to hit them like in a certain time frame? Hopefully, since we got them all, it stays open, though. Oh, oh, oh. Just want some of the Scooby Snacks, please. Before they all disappear, or not disappear, but before I need them. Definitely want that warp point. I mean, okay, I guess honestly, the chance of us like coming back here is pretty slim. This seems like more or less a dead end after we collect everything. But still. Good job, Scooby. You just found the soap bubble invention. Now you can use the L2 button to trap a monster in a soap bubble and jump on top of it. So it does the same thing the bubble gum does but maybe they maybe they raise up huh? oh it just turns into a platform not like a jumpy thing okay so maybe we can use that on the creeper to get up like extra high maybe <laughs> I don't know man <laughs> I have no idea are we finally going to figure out how we connect to Clamor in the manor? Wait. Oh, was it a one-way door and I'm just an idiot? Or is it another one of those things where, like, the one-way door doesn't actually... 
like it's literally a one-way door if i were to go back through this door does it take us back to where we just were yeah okay so it's probably like a locked from the other side door then and somehow i missed it whenever i was checking earlier yeah pretty much possible okay well there's two things we can do we can see what was at the end of the the hallway over here where it appeared we needed we should probably grab the food we're about to die where it appeared we needed the the bubbles to make any progress we can check and see what was over there real quick although feels likely it's just some scooby snacks or something but if i don't do it now i'll never end up doing it because i'll forget so like <laughs> yeah we'll go check that real quick and then we can use the warp point to go back to where the creepers were. Or the, the zombies. The zombies in the hallway, not actually a creeper. Creeper's a different a different baddie. Robbie. Right. I don't remember what all was actually in here. I just remember seeing soap up in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we need to get, like, one of these dudes to come over here, put them in a bubble, and then... Nope, oh, okay, they don't stay in the bubble forever. I mean, fair. Can't really expect them to. Oh, that was the wrong... <laughs> that was the wrong button. I guess that's one way to get rid of ghosts. <laughs> oh, they do come back eventually. Okay. But presumably, if we, like, line it up right... Did we hit the switch? Like, that should work, right? It looks like it would. There we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we hit it and then instantly died. Did it stay hit? It did. Oh, it's just a monster token, though. You are the switch. Wink. Wait. Why does this room look vaguely familiar? Sure, we'll save the game. Whatever. I didn't even realize we were about to run into one of the mystery machine save point thingies, but... Since we're here, though. Where are we? I'm over here, you Martian madman. We've definitely been here before, right? Oh, yeah, okay, it's this room. Um, anyways. No, you didn't think of the implication to you hit send? That's fine, man. I never think of things before I say it, either. I just say words. It's more fun. Just as surprised as you guys are by what comes out of my mouth most of the time. I'm assuming it wants us to, like, jump off these dudes to collect those things. I just don't feel like dealing with it. So, no. I don't think I will. I'm gonna see if that shortcut takes us anywhere useful. Because it takes us back to the secret passages, which is near where I want to go. I'm gonna check that first. If it doesn't... Then we just head for the nearest warp point, I guess, and go from there. Ruby snacks. Oh, oh. Right. Oh, oh, okay. So that's one of the one-way doors that we couldn't figure out. 
Right? Yeah. Okay, we're back here. Well, and we're done in this section now. So we figured out what to do over there. That just brings us back to here. So I think we just need to go backwards now. Till we find the zombie spot, zombie hallway spot. So your current boss has just found out about your transfer. I thought they knew already. They were nice though and congratulated me. Hey, that's good, man. At least they're not like being dicks about it, right? <laughs> that would really suck. Retaliation at its finest. Wait, so does that mean like your transfer did officially go through? You're changing positions then? I remember you talking about like trying for it or whatever. I just don't remember you ever mentioning actually like it happening. But if it is, congrats, man. Damn it. Hopefully you enjoy the new uh the new position much more. Or struggle less with certain people that you struggle with. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, there's bats in here now, too. I feel like the bats were probably put in here specifically for this. Can I not hit them? There we go. Damn you, game. Wait, why did <laughs> why did that not work? Oh my god, I hit everything. Let me on top. That's what she said. Anyways. It's official, you've met most of maintenance. I think it'll work out. That's awesome, man. Honestly, though, like, that's seriously, that's really cool. I'm happy for you. I hope it goes well. This is not the music I expected coming into a new area. Is there any point in collecting Scooby Snacks at this point? Or is it just for funsies? I mean, the, the levels would feel pretty pretty bare with nothing in it so I see why they'd put them in either way but it's just like I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game right. I guess there could still be a door that we end up needing to open <laughs> to actually get to the final boss section or whatever hence why I'm still collecting stuff even though it feels unnecessary Man, that really shows us, like, where our weird-ass hitbox is, though. <laughs> like, see, our entire upper half, our head, our arms, everything are just completely through that. So it really is, like, Scooby's chest is where the hitbox starts in the, the jumping animation. Careful, Scooby, the floor looks dangerous and electrified. So the floor is lava, okay. Plus, it's the department your dad works in. He's introduced me most of them, including the boss at, like, school wide meetings and such. Ah, oh, nice, okay. So you're already have some experience with the people. Uh, that looks like a switch we need to hit. That turn off the electricity? No. That would have been too useful. Okay, this zapping sound effect is a little bit much game. I, mean, I feel like we should hit all of the switches before we try to go up or whatever. Some beautiful toxic waste they got there. Oh no. Oh, it's instant death when you touch the ground? I thought it would just do like one point of damage. Oh, and it brings us all the way back here? Even more gross, bro. Wait, hold on, go back up here. Are they moving? No, we gotta redo it. That's annoying. An awesome castle build on Battle World? Yeah, I've been uh, browsing Reddit a fair bit recently, just in general. And I haven't been looking at spoilers for Pal World. Um, like anything that looks like it will be, I've just been ignoring. But people keep posting their base builds, and some of them are really sick, man. It makes me want to do like a giant castle type build, kind of more similar to what you know you're doing. 
in yours, but at the same time, I just feel like that's going to be hell for pathfinding and stuff like that. I am excited that they finally fixed the catch rate bug, though, so that the uh, effigies actually work now, the lift monk effigies. So I'm excited to, like, have the opportunity to catch some of the higher level mon and not struggle as much with it. I mean, granted, I've never struggled as much as our one buddy that's been playing it has. He has, like, non-stop trouble with it for some reason, but I'm also not trying to catch Mon, like, nearly as high of a level as he is. The highest level Mon I've tried to catch are, like, 30, you know? He's shooting around the... Oh my god, that was close. He's shooting around the, uh, whatchamacallit range. 40, 50 range. I can imagine that they'd be a struggle regardless. I feel almost like the different balls don't make as big of a difference as they should. Which is something I've been saying in private for a while at least. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on stream. What I really want them to do is expand the level cap of the Mon up to 100. Leave the story base Mon like only up to 50 or whatever. But then to rebalance the balls make like i don't know how many different spheres there are but make the first level ones super effective up to like level 20 or something you know and then do the second set of them super the second sphere super effective up to level maybe maybe 15 and then 30 right and then and then 45 ish or whatever and that'd be like your first three set of balls right and that would get you through the whole base part of the game and then whenever you start doing post-game content, then you start using the 4th level ball, 5th level ball, 6th level ball to catch the even, even higher level stuff. I also feel like that would help get rid of some of the uh, ridiculous grind in the post-game, or later game, I guess. Not so much in the post-game. Because some of those balls take a lot of... Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're actually gonna die. We're alive. Holy crap. Anyways, <laughs> some of those balls seem like they're ridiculous to craft. So having um, having the basic balls get you through at least the all the story content would be really cool. I didn't realize how fast that last platform was moving. It's actually kind of zooming. She is zoomer. Wait, why does it not feel like it's moving that quickly this time? I guess it's just the after it bounces, like the way it kind of... Oh my god, oh my god, no! Okay, so it's not instant death? Oh. It is instant death. Son of a bitch. Thankfully, it seems most are trying to avoid spoilers or give fair warning. That's the reason yours is a big open bottom is raised to help with thing. Yeah, I feel like if I did do one, most of it would just be for show. And then there would just be like a wide open area on the bottom or whatever for the Mon to actually do their thing. Damn you game. Because asking them to move around all that just sounds like a terrible plan. But I mean, they are working on updating the game, you know? Fixing bugs, all of that stuff. So hopefully it just gets better with time. I read one thing on Reddit where it seems some people believe the problem actually stems from whenever you get too far from your base or whenever the server restarts or anything like that, the mons seem to all respawn at the same time on top of each other in that little tiny square behind the base or behind the POW box. So they basically all just kind of get stuck on each other is what some people were saying. So then um, once they're all just kind of stuck there, then they can't get to where they need to go or do anything that they need to do so they just slowly you know starve and become depressed and crap like that which i mean i could see that being part of the problem but i don't honestly think that's the whole problem i'm, I'm fairly certain there's more to it than that because it doesn't seem like a a simple they're all spawning on top of each other thing 
30 is difficult, even with Hyper Balls. I know, that's why I'm saying, like, I feel like it needs a rebalance, you know? Well, it'll be less difficult now, because assuming the catch rate numbers that it displayed is the bonus you're actually supposed to get, then whenever you max out your catch rate bonuses with the effigies, you should have, like, a 20% increase in catch rate. So it should be significantly easier now that they supposedly fixed the, the catch rate bug. I haven't played the game or anything since they announced the bug fix, so I'm not sure if it's actually gotten easier or not, but 20% is no small increase, you know? Let's try this again. Ooh. Why is the camera facing this way? Game? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my god, okay. You'll probably play it tonight? I might end up hopping on tonight. I don't know. There's something that I kind of want to do, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for it or not. Um... Work slash content related sort of thing. There we go. That's what I should have done from the beginning, was just jump straight over. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. I might pop on. I might just end up screwing around more with stuff. We'll see. Platform. Why can't I not hit this button? Wait, seriously? <laughs> Game? Bro, <laughs> I hit that thing like five times. It just did not want to trigger. That was jank as hell. Oh, hi. You're new. Wait, do I have to ground pound you to, to kill you? Is that your gimmick? Okay, so like I have to knock you over and then ground pound you. Interesting. <clears throat> Um, I guess we'll go right first. I have no idea which way to go, so. This. Does this look right? Maybe the box will start to move whenever we touch it. Oh, yep, nope, it definitely starts to move, just not in a good way. <laughs> okay. I, when I said move, I was thinking, like, start moving forward, like, floating. Not just, you know, instantly falling. Did we just hit this button? Oh, nice. Is this on a timer, though, or is that permanent to drain? Grab all the thingies, please. Hopefully, if it is just temporary, there's some sort of warning. I don't know. Whatever, we're out of here. That was just a little bonus room for some extra snacks. I mean, you can never have too many snacks, so that's alright. I'm for it. And now, wasn't there another exit over here? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Is that like some sort of containment wave? Are they locked in there? Or, or no? No, okay. I just jump over it. Surprisingly, it's not instant death if I touch it. Oh, what? They can go through it? What is that? Okay, you know what? Is this a button? Good. I'm assuming I just need to kill them. Um, once I kill them... Something will happen? Oh no, there's a door there. I'm just blind. Okay, that's fair too. 
Martian dude is annoying as balls. Stay there for a second. I want to collect the snacks. Oh my god, there's a Martian in here. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just the, the other dudes. I don't mind the other dudes nearly as much. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> now, it wouldn't be the first time a button bugged out, though, so we might just have to hit it again and see what happens. We... Oh, okay, well. Yeah, it's nothing, okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Secret switch? No. Oh, there's another door. That's probably where we're going. We have to be getting close to the end of the secret labs, right? Because there was only, I think, three or four sections in it. Oh. We're at a dead end. There's like another two sections. I was a little off. Apparently there was five sections. What do we do here? I mean, presumably we need to hit the buttons. But how? We can kill some of these dudes to make our lives a little bit easier. Can we smash any of the thingies? No. You're gonna go out eventually, right? Yeah, there we go. I just want the food. What are we doing here? <laughs> It doesn't seem like- oh wait, they all do turn off for a very short period of time. It, see, it, like, it seems like we need to hit these buttons, man. Okay, well, we're not just going in there. go up higher? Does this do anything? Killing them doesn't seem to do anything. Can we break these? No. Tapping them doesn't seem to be of any use. There's something under this table? No. Break the computers? What about this? Is this a switch? Maybe we can only hit it when it's off. Ah, we can only hit it when it's off. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. We just wait. Excuse me, game. Thank you. This one's probably gonna be annoying because weren't the dudes like chilling over here somewhere? Wait, did they despawn? <laughs> wait, <laughs> okay. I mean, oh, they're over there. They're like following me around, but in the worst pathing possible. Oh, ow. I'd rather have food. I can see you too, boy. Of 
Unfortunately, I usually can't see you until you hit me, but you know, it's fine. Ruby snacks. With how many Scooby snacks it's throwing at us, I am starting to feel like we're probably gonna need the snacks to get through a door at some point. Oh, thank God you dropped food, dude. I don't care about getting the token. I'm just gonna leave it. I hit the square button game. Whatever. Wait, the door's locked? How do we open the door? Oh, there's a another switch over here. Can we... Yes, okay. Say, so can we easily get back over there at least? We don't have to do all that over again. I was really worried that wasn't gonna be the case, but we good. So wait, if that was a dead end, then where does this take us? Back, okay. Have we been here before? No! Yeah, but we have to do that again, don't we? We didn't even get the teleport point to stay up there. That's mighty annoying. I wish the game would, like, give us some sort of platform to get up there more easily. Damn you, game. Oh wait, what's this? Is this a platform to get up there more easily? No. Uh, one can dream, right? We probably have to get up there at least once before it activates, is my guess. At least if everything stays activated in here, it won't be that bad to get back up. As long as we don't have to like hit all the switches again or whatever. Yeah, no, which thankfully it doesn't seem like we do. And now you drop food. Yeah, okay, that wasn't bad at all. I'll accept it. It's okay. Don't screw up this jump again. This game, thank God. Oh no. Okay, this is this is very rude, bro. I can't. <laughs> you're literally in the door. I can't get past you. There we go. What's it gonna be? Eight hundred. 850? Bruh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so I need 240 more Scooby Snacks. Um, There was two boxes of them. I don't know how many you get from the boxes off the top of my head, but there was two boxes of them at the top of this platform in the other room here. We can go collect those. They should be somewhat easy to grab. And then I guess we just got to go back through a couple of levels to grab the rest of them. Right. Try to grab these before it turns on. Oh, I'd love to grab this food, actually, too, because I'm pretty sure my hunger's low. Hunger, energy, whatever you want to call it. Rolly. I don't think we left any on... Oh, wait. No, there are some on this platform. Ruby snacks. So it's five per box. Not an amazing amount, but I mean, five's a lot more than one, so. Might as well grab them. Now, was there actually any at the top top then, or was it just those two that I was thinking about? It very well could have just been those two. Yeah, I think it was. 
actually. Did I make it? Yeah, that's just a monster token, which I don't care about. Alright, warp point, go back to the beginning, because there's probably some in, like, the hedge maze that I'm sure I missed. Um, There's that, like, tutorial area as soon as you get into the game, where there's definitely some at that I didn't grab, because they were kind of annoying. But now that we have all the power-ups and stuff, it should be a lot easier. So, take me back to the actual oh, mystery what? machine, please. The playground. I think that's what it said. Something playground. This away. Yes. What's really annoying, if we never open that stupid, like, boss... Or not boss, the monster room, where you just get a look at all of the different monsters, we would have more than enough right now. We kind of shot ourselves in the foot by grabbing that. Oh my god. Okay, it might not actually be any easier to grab these last couple. And honestly, <laughs> I don't think there's enough here to even make it worth it. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> what if we just, like, go around in a circle? I think we're too, too high to grab any of them. Okay, yep. Oh, okay. Well, we can get a couple this way, I guess. I didn't think about the... Having the, the shoes. That let us go up the slide. And then if we can float far enough, we might be able to get that one. Yes. All snacks collected. That's sick. I'm glad it lets us know about that. When everything in an area is done. Hmm, where else around here? There's probably a bunch in the house itself, because I hated the house. <laughs> Wasn't there something here at the fountain? Oh. Hmm, I don't know. Thought there was something that, like, Rue told us before, or something about the fountain. Like, if we stood there or did something, I don't remember. It was probably just something silly and not actually... Like, Scooby Snack related. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we get too deep in here, I doubt it, but maybe that room where you can see all of the different monster tokens that you've collected, maybe they actually have some Scooby Snacks in there. Like, if we go to the map, now nah, it does say we've collected all Scooby Snacks for the Mystery Machine. And I'm assuming this would be considered under the Mystery Machine, although... Certainly be wrong. It does say Monster Gallery. It might be its own section. Any chance you want to just throw like 200 snacks in here for me, bud? It's Picture Gallery. No, no like bonuses for collecting them or anything? Yeah, if we had an em open this room, we would have enough right now then. But we're at least very close to it, because I think it costs like 150, 200 to open the room. But I suppose I could be wrong on that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything here. Damn it, game. It's another teleport point. Okay, well, in that case, hedge maze. Or actually, just go back to here. We'll start the hedge maze from the beginning. And after the hedge maze, we'll do the 
the peer or whatever the heck it's called. And hopefully by then we have enough. Hopefully, honestly, just exploring the hedge maze area will give us enough Scooby Snacks. But if not, then we certainly have other options. I knew this was going to end up happening sooner or later, though. Like, there was no way we were going to be able to dodge Scooby Snacks forever to make the game easier on ourselves. I was just hoping we would get lucky and the game wasn't that... Like tight with the with the snacks there's nothing in here though right yeah no make sure it wasn't like a warp or something uh you're just a witch I mean, the thing with the hedge maze, I guess, is we did it pretty early, and early on I was collecting most, at least, of the Scooby Snacks. Of course, I guess we did the fishery area, like, pretty early on, too. So, honestly, we probably got most of the snacks from both of those areas. Here's a couple. I mean, I guess we can see, right? I didn't think about that. 368 out of 371. So we're only missing three <laughs> in this section. The hedge maze, we're only missing three. We're missing a hundred, though, in the haunted hill section. So that's where we actually kind of want to get to. It's too bad that I don't have a warp point around here. And then we're missing 80 from there. And like 30 from here. Yeah, okay. So the second half, the graveyard section. Oh, yeah, there was that one room in the graveyard that had a crap ton of them. All just like floating around. Um, wasn't there a shortcut? To the haunted hill or whatever? But screw it, we're already like all the way over here. Here's one of the ones that we missed. One of the three. I need a thing. Wait, is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's all the snacks in this area. Nice. You guys, don't care about any of you. Just want either a warp point or a shortcut to the haunted cliffs. I feel like it was back here. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the way, like, actually back, right? Yeah. Don't fall in the hole. I mean, dying might actually respawn us closer to the beginning, so that might work. But nah, it's fine. Now, was it up here? Oh, that's not a snack. That's just a sandwich. You can skip the sandwich. I think it's this. This takes us up there, doesn't it? Or no, 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 no. Okay. That's just... Shoot. It's, it's a gate shortcut like that, though, I'm pretty sure. That takes us to the... Is it this? It must be this one. Yeah, it was like right at the beginning. I think this takes us up to the top of the hill somehow. Yeah, chills and spills on Haunted Hill. Okay, so apparently we're missing a bunch of them here somewhere. 
There's no further up we can go. Is there? There is. But I don't think there's anything we missed up top. Because I think up top is just where we got the helmet. Right? Nothing... Nothing hidden up here we, we missed? No. Can I jump off here to get down there quicker? No. Game says no. I mean, thankfully, with having the, like, floating thing and these sections not necessarily designed around having the floating thing, it does make it a lot quicker. <laughs> A lot quicker and a lot easier to get places. The credit where credit's due for that. Wait. Oh. Right. Have we been? Is that? Is that the next section? We're here. Where does that take us to, actually? I don't remember where this goes. It might just go to... Scared Stiff at Skull Cliff. We missing some from here? Like 80. Not as many as we are from up here. Um I mean there's a warp point there. I guess we'll just do this section first. And then come back around if needed. Oh, it's this one. I remember this section. This section sucked. <laughs> it's what I get though for being fast and loose with the, the Scooby Snacks. I did it to myself. Oh, that was our bonus for having the floating ability? Just the ability to get a, a single sandwich? over here? Nope. That's a negative, sir. We actually cleared out this specific section. Oh. Where the hell did we miss a hundred of them at? There must have been like a super annoying part. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> Makes me wish they had more fast travel points. Or just the ability to, like, return to home or something. There are definitely certain points of the game that I do not want to have to run through over and over again. That's just back to the beginning. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go down. Nothing interesting over here. I wonder what the hover, if we could have made this jump. I'm gonna guess no. But if we ever have to run through that section again, I might just try it anyways. I would think those switches would stay activated that way if you come from the other direction, but I guess maybe they only stay activated if you come from the other direction here. Okay, there's a couple here that we didn't get. Not a lot, but a couple. I mean, it adds up, right? Come on, drop. 
Oh, I remember this platform's annoying. Okay. Okay, two more there. Wait. Oh, this is a hover section? We could have skipped that? I mean, whatever. We got a couple that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Bruh, how am I not? I am on this thing. <laughs> oh, no, that's death. I mean, whatever. We'll just respawn right here. Yeah, no biggie. Grab a sandwich. There we go. So we're up to 650. We need exactly 200 more still. Oh, God. I wonder how many is in the graveyard section. The, like, I don't want to call it a mini game area, but like it's an area obviously designed just for collecting more snacks. I don't think it's going to be 200. If we're lucky, probably 50. Oh. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, that's right. There's this switch that we never properly did because, like, we were able to cheese our way over to here, but we weren't able to cheese our way back across. I still don't know what that switch does. Activate this platform? Oh, it probably lets us go up there. Maybe? There's definitely a bunch of stuff up here. Kind of wish I wouldn't have killed that dude, because we could have used that dude to get up here. But maybe we can do it from the other side here. Yeah, come here, dude. Nice. Bad, you're bad. You die. Okay, now what's this switch do then? Give us access to even more? It does! Not a ton, but again, every little bit adds up for us. The more we get now is the less we have to get later. How do we get over there, though? Just leap of faith it? I don't... How do we get over there? Did the switches stay activated since we hit both of them, I wonder? Or do we have to... Rehit them. We had to rehit them. That's annoying. Well, if we bubble this dude, then we don't have to go quite as far over. Makes it a little bit shorter. You gonna show us again what it does? Oh, there's another platform there that goes the other direction. Okay. I just didn't see it when we were over there. Well, yeah, that makes that makes it a hell of a lot easier, man. Okay, just gotta wait. Smear, was there an up current around here too that we could use? I mean, there's definitely the animation of, like, leaves flying up, man. That feels like we should be able to float across there, but there was some sort of invisible wall stopping us from, from actually doing it. 
But whatever, now that we got it, I don't think we'll have to worry about it again. We can just go across and be done. We make it. We can make it. Yeah, we can. No waiting for us. Right. Uh, many I wonder is left in this section. We are at 40, 41 more. What do we need? 850? Oh my god. Can I grab that one? I mean, it's probably not worth it. It's one snack, man. Yeah, nope. I'm not gonna worry about it. Right. Um. Okay. Ooh. But if this is this way, what was back the other direction? Oh shit, we missed one right here too. Definitely don't want to be skipping the super easy ones, man. That would be dumb. There's oh. these platforms here. I feel like the camera's a little broken at the moment. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like we have the right angle. Well, damn, both directions go really far, so I have no idea which direction we're meant to be going. There's definitely more over here we missed. There are a bit more over here that we missed, actually. Got all of these ones. Oh! Here we go. Okay, go down. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I think we hit a death plane. I didn't realize, uh, yeah. That going over there would kill us. I mean, we started raising up a little bit at one point. We should have just stopped there, I guess, instead of, like, continuing forward. Where are you? Like, right here. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, go up, go up. There's a bunch. Gib. Do we need a drop, though? Nope. Bro, please. Just give it to me. Nope. No, 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 no. Not the intended way, but we got it. Oh, okay, we're getting there. How many left in this section now? One. So that one that we missed at whatever point. That's all there is. There is 30 in the next section, though. I think we just keep going forward. I appreciate my own curiosity, though. How many are in the fishery area? Like 50... 180? Oh, that was like the, the cannery place, wasn't it? I got out of there as soon as possible. Like 60... 80... Okay, yeah. Maybe it would have been smarter to go to the cannery area first, but... The pier, or whatever the hell you want to call it. We're already here now, though, so... So I guess if we get to a a, a warp point, that'd be convenient. Then we could warp over there where there's a crap ton of them. Which look at that, there's one right here. Um, 
I still do want to go to the... How did I miss that warp point? Well, I still want to go to the graveyard area is what I was saying. Because I know there's that one room that has a bunch of them in it for us. That we didn't grab. And I think... It's back this way. Think. Right? It's a werewolf, right? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not so sure now. No, I think it was the other way, actually. Where does this take us to? Room and Doom down in the tomb? I mean, maybe. My memory's not that great. It could be anywhere. What do switches do? Oh, that's right. It just opened the crap up there. Which I don't think we care about. Ooh, here's a path we didn't go down yet, though. It's a warp gate, right? Is that the warp gate that we didn't have active? Maybe. Maybe we just, like, didn't run past it for some reason. Uh, okay. I guess maybe we have to come from this direction to get them all. There we go. What's this? We weren't able to get here without the umbrella. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a hole there. Uh, okay, yeah, so this was just... Just some convenient Scooby snacks. That's all that was. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but now... We still need to find the room that I was talking about. Maybe it was through here. Right. Well, there's definitely some up here that we missed. Oh yeah, no, this is the room. Yeah, 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 okay. Not like an unlimited amount or anything, but a decent amount. Only need what? Nope, oh, shoot, we're dead. That's fine. Uh, 50, 70 more? Give or take? We're getting close. Did we miss any in here? We did. A few. Oh, oh aw, come on, game. Why is the death plane so close to the top? Oh, shit, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> it looked almost like we could go to the side over there. We can't, obviously, but I thought maybe. Well, whatever, just kill me. I don't even care now. I got the two that I wanted. We like smash for anything? No. Okay, so that was like the big set of them that I knew of in this area. Um, so at this point we might want to just like warp out of here. Yeah, we're only missing what thirteen? That's not that many. It's probably not worth sticking around here at this point. <clears throat> there is sixty here in the gloom and doom in the tomb. I'm not sure where at exactly. And like 40 here. I mean, just between those two, that would be enough for what we need. Oh, there's a hundred of them on Chills and Spills on Haunted Hill still. You know what? Let's go back there. Let's go back to Chills and Spills on Haunted Hill. As soon as we find a, a warp point. Because if there's a hundred of them there in that one section, then that's like... That's all of them that we need and we'll be set. 
And if it ends up being a pain in the ass and we can't get all of them that we need there, then we can go over to the pier section and start exploring crap there for them. Where's the warp point at? Ooh, hold on. Wasn't even coming this way with the intention of getting more of them, but... Not gonna say no to all that. That's actually a decent bit, man. Oh, bro, yeah. Oh god, don't die, though. 22? 23? Oh my god, we only need 25 more. And there's a warp gate here. That is amazing. Take us back to here. There's 100 missing here somewhere. Finding 25 can't be that bad. It's a warp day. Right? Okay, so we came from up there, so they're definitely not up there. They're all this direction somewhere i wish it was a little more granular with telling us where we're missing the stuff at because it just tells us for like the collection of levels if it told us for the individual levels that would be perfect wait do we just like oh bro let's go i completely forgot about all these here Oh, can we go over and, like, get even more? This is it. That's it. We're good to go. Oh. So I think that means final boss time. I think. Oh, well, whatever. Kill us. That's fine. We keep our Scooby Snacks, so... That just means we can go back through here, grab the warp point, and maybe be done. It's a good game. I just hate the map. <laughs> that's that's my only problem with it, <laughs> which is largely, I feel like, my fault, you know? Because I don't think they really, like, did anything too bad. It's just there's so many, like, little shortcuts and stuff, and I'm so unfamiliar with it. But I just keep getting lost and forgetting where we have been and haven't been and where we can use the different power-ups and yeah. Which I feel like that's mostly on me. But generally the game controls relatively well, you know? There's only a, a handful of areas with super annoying like enemy placement or whatever. But it's not terrible. As far as like kid-friendly Metroidvania games go. Mastermind Unmasked. That sounds like some endgame crap to me, man. Oh god, why is there so many Scooby Snacks? <laughs> Help Scooby, this shark has a bigger appetite than mine. That seems unlikely. Buttons over there should take care of the guy. Try swinging from my legs, pal. All these Scooby Snacks on the ground scares me. Please tell me there's not going to be another door. I'm going to collect all of them that I can see just in case, but... I'm really hoping not. That helps full. We don't need that one. Oh, shoot. Nope. Grab him. Yahoo! Takes care of him, but I didn't bring my water wings. Get rid of that water, pal. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> I think. I think that might be a bit of a glitch there, man. I'm not sure. I don't feel like we're supposed to be able to just walk on water. Last I checked, Scooby Doo wasn't Jesus, but. What do I know? Get down here and give me a boost. Okay. Oh, 
Out you go. Wait, where am I boosting you to? Oh. Uh. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I am very confused. What are we doing here? I thought we were just throwing him out, but he doesn't want to, like... Throw him forward or something. Wait, how do I even get out of here? Now that I think about it. Presumably once I let him out, something will happen that'll let me out. How do I get him out? Oh, wait, did that work? Okay. I don't know why it worked that time, but whatever. I'm not going to question it. What, did we just go through the door up there now? I suppose so. I mean, that's the full gang, like, saved and everything, though, right? This could be it. Maybe. This looks like Randy, it, man. Randy, Wilma, Molly. Hey, Scoob. Scooby, Boy, we'll be glad to see you. Hey, pal. What am I, chopped liver? <clears throat> chopped, chopped liver. <laughs> Careful, Scoob. That vat is filled with acid. Rashid? Come on, Scooby. You can do it. We're almost at the end of this mystery. And I've got a plan. Okay, where I come. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. So I wonder who it. Oh, God. Yep. We're already dead. <laughs> so I wonder who it is. The mastermind. I feel almost like it is just the crazy. Uncle dude, you know? Oh shoot, I picked the wrong one. Yeah, I go back. Memory card slot too. But I still want to blame it on Don Knotts, because that just... <laughs> he's just everywhere, man. I feel like he was just doing this because he thought it sounded fun. Oh, that was dumb. Also, frame rate? Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Good job, Scooby. But why would anybody need this much acid anyway? The acid in those vats is used for etching. It was used to make those funky lenses that were in my glasses. This must be part of the professor's top secret invention. Jinkies! And now I know just what it is. The professor was making super real holograms. Like, mm. what on earth is a hologram? Holograms are images made out of solid light, Shaggy. Like the creeper from my glasses. Like, wow! So that's where all the monsters have been coming from. Jeepers. Really? Where's no ghosts? That's right, Scooby. No ghosts. Now listen up, gang. I've got a plan. But Scooby's gonna need to keep the mastermind distracted for it to work. Me? And that will buy us all the time we need to turn the tables on old Fright Face. Yeah, and then he'll face the fright. Ready, Scoob? Uh-uh. I'm not going anywhere. Well, would you do it for a Scooby snack? Uh-uh. How about a whole box of Scooby snacks? Okay. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> Right. Hard to say no to a whole box of Scooby Snacks. My thing is, if they were all just super real holograms Probably. made of solid light, then how the hell did we murder them all? <laughs> like, you know, how did throwing them into coffins work? Or 
I forget the other boss fights. What's the one we just did? Or dropping a thingy on their head. Now, granted, the one who we just dropped a thingy on his head, he just kind of disappeared. So, I don't know. Maybe that makes sense. Ah, yes. Soon it will all be mine. My brilliant plan is working perfectly. All that remains is... What? Impossible. How did you, a worthless cur, make it this far? I don't know. Well, your luck ends here. <laughs> that's fair. Same. That's I don't know. Of your lies. Well, I think that's cat. Well, I'm not a cat. Shut up. Wait, I'm assuming we just have to like hit the buttons. But what are they all doing up there? Do we need to kill them in order to hit the buttons though? Or is it just like a survive sort of thing? Ow. It seems to be the latter. Or the former. I don't remember what I said first, actually, now. Seems like I need to actually kill them and then hit the buttons. Oh, do we have to hit both buttons during the same phase? Wait, did that do anything? I mean, there are more enemies now, so it might have done something. That gonna make even more of them spawn now? There's not like more buttons somewhere that I need to hit, right? No, okay. But I mean again, more of them keep spawning, so I think we're doing the right thing. I think I think everything's fine. Ow. I kinda feel like after we hit something, we should get a tiny bit of iframes then too. Normally I wouldn't say that sort of thing in the game, but with the way they all bunch up and just touching them hurts you. It's kind of, you know, cheap. Wait, was that the final boss fight, or...? Oh wait, nope, we're still going, okay. Wait, why are we still going? He, is he not gone? Is he around? Am I still just hitting the buttons though, or? Ow. Wait, how do I? Oh, I can bash him. Okay, well, I can bash him at least once, and then... Where's he at? Where's he at? teach you to meddle in my affairs. I'm not even sure. Do we need to keep hitting these things, or like... Ow. Scooby do? No, that's a Scooby don't. <laughs> really, game? Oh no! Ah, okay. I hope we're doing the right thing. I actually have no idea. <laughs> I mean, obviously, the first part we're doing right which is hitting the buttons. But for the second part, I have no clue. I'm almost wondering if we need to like... Can we like bash you guys in there? No. Oh, there was another sandwich back there. I'll try to remember that for next time. How do we... Uh, game? 
Okay, I don't think we're meant to get that, though. There's some cursed geometry over here. Whatever. <laughs> the game decided we were dying, so I guess we're dying. And grab one of those. Hopefully they drop a couple more food stuff soon. Oh, that's what it's actually doing. It's turning the mirrors each time we hit them. Or the, the optics, the lenses, whatever you want to call it. So I guess, like, hitting it afterwards probably doesn't actually do anything then. Like, after we get through all the way... Oh, shit. I forgot we had to hit the buttons. Can I hit it anyways? No. That was my bad. That was... Yeah. I, I screwed up on that one. Kind of forgot what we were doing. I was just more interested in... <laughs> looking at things. It's too bad this food doesn't stay spawned, like, after the transition. I don't know if it's a timer or if it just automatically resets the stage after this first phase of the fight. God. Yeah, we're full on food. After the first phase. Oh man, I don't have a drink. And then, okay, so the only thing I can think to do is bash him. Unless, I mean, I guess we can try and hit the buttons once and see if it does anything. Yeah, I, I know we're gonna get hit. But yeah, the buttons don't seem to do anything. Oh, that's right, we can't booty bash them. That was my bad. Scooby, oh Scooby! Wait, laugh this off, mutt! Scooby do? No, that's a Scooby don't. Oh my God, these are the worst enemies, man! Because <laughs> you can't just bash them, like with your booty. Oh, thanks for dropping the food, though. Okay, are they gonna respawn? I assume. Oh god. Yeah, they do respawn. But if they drop food every once in a while, I guess it's worth murdering them just to keep our health high. This will teach you to meddle in my affairs. Oh, oh! We need to hit him into the. Thingies, don't we? It's the end of the line for you. Okay, I think I see what we're doing. Scooby do? No, that's a Scooby don't. No, you dick. No, bro. <laughs> This boss fight sucks so much. I really wish there was a checkpoint just between the two phases, even. Okay, I'm pretty sure, so we stun him by booty bashing him, right? And then we can uh, headbutt him. And then the headbutt, I think we need to knock him into the, to the power lines here, basically. Wait, why did that... Why did that reactivate so quickly? I didn't have time to do anything. 
And we missed. Game? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Okay, it worked that time. I don't I don't know why it was like respawning the, the lightning or whatever you want to call it so quickly there for a minute. That seemed like a glitch. I must wonder if we could just trick the game into spawning a crap ton of food, and then we just leave it all on the ground. Get it? I imagine there has to be some sort of limit to how many it'll actually spawn, though. Take a hit. No, get him at least. Thank you. Nice. The game seems to be very generous with the food spawning here at the end, as long as you're missing any health. So when I got hit, I didn't get hit on purpose, but once I got hit, I was like, if I can just kill all three of them without getting hit again to let, like, more food spawn, or two. I think there was two after I got hit. I don't remember. Regardless. And it'll make the next section a little bit easier. Oh, you find that funny, do you? You've done it now. Now I'm really mad. You've done it now. Oh my now god. I'm really mad. <laughs> You've done it now. Now I'm really mad. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Oh wait. How did I get a full heal? Why? That's positively shocking. Oh wait, was that it? Did we just have to do it once? Bro, that means we were so close last time. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that ended up being a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to have to do that same thing like three or four times. <laughs> Time to unmask Don Knotts, please. Look, gang. There he is. Well, now it's time to get to the bottom of this mystery. Come on, gang. Let's see who the mastermind really is. Wait, Fred. Like, I think I know who this guy really is. It's that spooky groundskeeper, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. There he is. Nope. The it's <laughs> yeah, I didn't figure it was actually him. But who else have we met? What do you people have against I don't think we've met anybody else, right? <laughs> Some so unless it is the uncle, then... Say the butler does? But hmm. no, it's always got to be the groundskeeper, doesn't it? Anytime some ghost scares somebody off a well-kept lawn, it's just got to be the groundskeeper. Like we couldn't just put up a sign that says, keep off the grass. Nah, I'll just get myself a big old rubber monster suit. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, let's see who the mastermind really is. It's, it's Professor Alexander, Alexander Graham! Graham. Yeah, okay, so it was the uncle or whatever all along. Uncle Alexander? I don't believe it. I knew it all the time. Something just doesn't add up. If you oh, is it another mask? Playing a nasty trick. A trick of the light. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow. That was just another hologram. Holly, what are you doing there? Zoinks! But Holly's right! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wrong, Shaggy. That Holly was just another hologram. Holly the hologram? The real Holly has been the mastermind the entire time. 
think about the clues. Remember how Holly said she followed all of our cases? Only she'd know enough about our old foes to program holograms of them. And I noticed how she passed through that rail near the secret lab. Wait, did she really? By setting up a hologram of herself <laughs> when the mastermind oh. was around, she'd have the perfect alibi. But what I don't get is how she got the professor here. In a mastermind costume, no less. Well, that's simple. She used my patent pending, dressed for supper, suck you upper. I spent so much time in the lab that I built a device that could get me dressed and to the front door in seconds. <laughs> that way I can uh, be on time to pay the pizza delivery man. <laughs> Exactly. Groovy. Holly must have used it to get here ahead of us and switch places with her uncle. Who she'd already stuffed up there. It was very uncomfortable, let me tell you. Like, and don't forget the most important clue of all. Hologram. Get it? Hologram. <laughs> Holly the hologram. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one with terrible uh, Hi, sense of humor. <laughs> Why go through all of this? You guys would have caught my uncle, and when he was sent to jail, I'd steal his super hologram invention and claim I came up with it myself. I would have made a fortune, too. Well, it, it was a good plan. Don't you live yeah, with your uncle, though? So wouldn't you more or less have shared in his riches? I feel like dog. you got some issues, huh? lady. Here, Professor, let me help you. Oh, thank you, kids. I don't know how to repay you. Well, all these fiddles are a great start. Hey! The food's fake, too. Oh, God. Scooby -doo. Oh, Scooby. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dawn's back there just like, what the hell is even going on here? Nice. No, all in all, pretty decent game. Just uh, definitely think it could have been better <laughs> with some with some some uh, better level design. I think. What is this techno remix of <laughs> Scooby Doo at the end here though? Anyways though, uh, I was hoping to start Dark Cloud tonight, but I didn't expect that to take three hours for us to finish that. So uh, I don't think we're gonna have time to start Dark Cloud, sadly. Um, because with a half hour, we'd basically get through, like, the beginning cutscene, and that would be it. So, what's the point of that? So, next Wednesday, I guess, is when we'll actually be starting Dark Cloud. Like, for reals. As for this week, though, we're just going to let the credits play out, man. Give all of these people the recognition they deserve. Uh, granted, this game was made, like, I don't know. 20 years ago? I don't know when it actually <laughs> released, but but I'm sure it was a while ago. Hey, some of these people are probably still making games and stuff. DJ Hernandez was Mig the Bug Killer. <laughs> Florian. Noodles, Ray Noodles. Hey, you're not the only Noodle, Noodle. Mark Hollywood, Phil Barney, Jason, that guy. That actually his nickname, that guy. Does everybody just call him, hey, that guy? You know, like, if you're talking about somebody, that makes sense. But if I'm, like, trying to get your attention, I just yell, that guy. That's, <laughs> that seems a little, a little weird to me. I don't know. Shaggy, Scott, Fred, Fred Walker, Daphne and Holly, Ray... Elma, BJ Ward, Mastermind, Tim Curry. Oh! I don't know. Uh, Noodle's probably asleep by now, but she's a big Tim Curry fan. Well, I don't know if she's a big Tim Curry fan. She really likes that one movie that he was in. <laughs> What's it called? I can never remember the name of it. It's, uh... For some reason, the only thing coming to mind is Mystery Science Theater. Rocky Horror Picture Show. She really likes that one, at least. I think she likes Tim Curry in general, though. And that's it. Back to the Mystery Machine Part 1. Dope. Well, I guess that's it for Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, guys. That was a fun time. I look forward to trying out the other Scooby game eventually. What is it? Um, 
Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. We were just talking about you. I don't know if you could hear any of it, but there's still... Where is it? Have we not played it yet? Yeah, uh, two things. One, there was a guy in the credits whose name was Noodle. Uh, and two, the mastermind was voiced by Tim Curry. You really came in at like just the wrong time. I, <laughs> I was just saying all that. Uh, there we go. Scooby-Doo in the Spooky Swamp. I think that one's on the list of games to complete. I think. Let me double check that here. I know I didn't enjoy that one as much as this one whenever we were trying it out, but it still wasn't bad. Yeah, it is on the list, so we might end up playing it sooner or later. Well, I mean, I'm sure we will sooner or later. It's sitting on, what, 60-some votes? Something like that, 67, I think it was. I kind of already lost in the list. So it's not, like, super high up the list, but it's not super low either. So there's a decent chance of it. We've had much lower games roll before, like Shrek two or three or whatever so it's definitely a possibility but that won't be for a while because we still have to finish dark cloud until then though guys i'm losing my mind uh <laughs> that's it for today thank you guys for coming and hanging out while we finished scooby-doo night of 100 frights i'm gonna talk to don knots here did the game like reset no okay what's don doing here well, you defeated the mastermind. Good job. It was Holly the whole time. She sure had me fooled. Now, how about helping me collect all the remaining items? Now you can go into any area and get anything you missed. Oh, okay. So it's just, hey, do you want to, like, finish the game, finish the game? Anyways, yeah. So that's it for Scooby-Doo. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me while we played that. I had a fun time. I hope you guys did, too. I'll be back tomorrow night to play some more Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragon Spear with my brother. Um, as we try to figure out how the hell we're going to beat that game in our current state. So until then, have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye. Not like the world's biggest Crash fan, you know? Most of the Crash games that I've played, I feel like, had some uh, pretty significant problems. So I'm probably not the best guy to, to ask about that. <laughs> the buzz blades, huh? What's that, dude? I'm guessing it just shoots saw blades.